we call Earth our home in the universe. But we are not alone here. We share our home with millions of species of plants and animals, ranging from gigantic blue whales to microscopic bacteria. Plants, trees, animals and microorganisms maintain the quality of our planet's air, water and soil which is essential for the survival of humans. Forests also play an important part as the primary producers on which all the species of animals depend directly or indirectly. The variety of living things found in a region, country or the entire earth is called its biological diversity or biodiversity. Here is a picture showing the biodiversity of a coral reef. We do not live in isolation from plants and animals around us. Various species that form the biodiversity of a region are interdependent on each other. All the species of plants and trees found in a region are collectively called the flora of the region. The species of animals found in a region are collectively called the fauna of the region. India has a rich biodiversity and is home to around 1.6 million or nearly 8% of all the species of flora and fauna found in the world. India is home to around 47,000 species of flora. These range from tiny ferns to lofty trees. Around 15,000 species of flowering plants are indigenous to India. India is also home to over 81,000 species of fauna. These include birds, insects and land and water animals. Overexploitation and insensitivity towards our environment has led to large-scale degradation of biodiversity in India. According to official records, 79 species of mammals are threatened in India. The state of birds, reptiles and amphibians is no better. Several species of fauna, for example, the cheetah, the pink-headed duck, the mountain quail and the forest spotted owlet are facing total extinction. The state of the flora is as poor as the fauna, with nearly 1,500 species of plants like Madhuka in Cygnus and Hubardia heptaneuron on the verge of extinction. The total forest cover in India is around 78.29 million hectares or about 23.81% of the country's total geographical area. Officially, the area under dense forest cover has increased since 1997. But this is more due to increase in plantations than natural forests. In order to preserve world biodiversity, the International Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources, or IUCN, 
has devised a method of placing different species of flora and fauna into six categories. As per IUCN guidelines, species of flora and fauna can be classified as normal, extinct, endangered, vulnerable, rare, or endemic. Plants and animals whose population is sufficient for the survival of their species are called normal species. These include cattle, rodents and trees like pine and sal. A species that cannot be found after prolonged search in its area of habitation is called an extinct species. Note that a species may be extinct from an area, a country or the entire earth. Some such species are the Asiatic cheetah and the pink-headed duck. A species that is facing the danger of extinction, if the factors responsible for its decline are not checked, is called an endangered species. For example, the black buck, Indian rhino, crocodile, Indian wild ass, lion-tailed macaque, and the sangai deer, a species that is likely to become endangered due to decreasing population, unless conserved, is called vulnerable species. Examples are the blue sheep, the Asiatic elephant, and the Gangetic dolphin. A species with a small population that is likely to become vulnerable or endangered without conservation efforts is called a rare species. Some rare species include the Asiatic wild buffalo, brown Himalayan bear, desert fox, and hornbill. A species found only in a particular region due to isolation by natural or geographic barriers is called an endemic species. For example, the Andaman teal and wild pig, the Nicobar pigeon, and a bovine called Mithun, found in Arunachal Pradesh, meet the Asiatic cheetah. This exotic cat with distinguishing teardrop markings on its face was once found throughout Asia. It became extinct in India in 1952 and is nearly extinct in other parts of the Asian continent due to loss of habitat and prey. Here is the Himalayan yew, a medicinal plant found in Himachal Pradesh and Arunachal Pradesh. The bark, needles and roots of this plant yield a substance called taxol, which is used to treat several types of cancer. Thousands of Himalayan yew trees have dried up in the last decade due to overexploitation. Today, the species is endangered. These accounts bring us to the question, what are the factors responsible for the depletion of the flora and fauna in India? The main reason for the depletion of fauna is excessive hunting and poaching for fun and commercially valuable animal body parts.
forests and wetlands are natural habitats of animals. The destruction of these habitats has also resulted in the depletion of our wildlife. Thus, we can link the depletion of our fauna with the depletion of flora. Forests are the main source of food, firewood, medicines, dyes, and fodder. Overexploitation of these resources has resulted in the depletion of flora. However, most communities that use these resources are sensitive towards forest resources and use them wisely. For instance, most of the firewood is collected through lopping and not by falling entire trees. Deforestation in the name of development is one of the main causes of the depletion of flora. This began early in colonial India when vast stretches of natural forests were destroyed for the expansion of railways. Agriculture Commercial farming and mining The colonial practice continued even after independence. From 1951 to 1980, over 26,200 square kilometers of forests were destroyed and converted into cultivated land. Large infrastructure projects have also resulted in massive deforestation. Over 5,000 square kilometers of forests have been cleared since 1951 for multi-purpose river projects. The Narmada Sagar project in Madhya Pradesh alone will submerge 40,000 hectares of natural forests. Mining is another activity that contributes to deforestation. The Baksa Tiger Reserve in West Bengal faces serious threat from ongoing dolomite mining that has caused habitat destruction and blocked the migration routes of several animals like the Indian elephant. Poor cultivation methods like slash and burn agriculture or juming practiced by tribal people in northeastern and central India have also led to deforestation. Overgrazing by cattle herds also leads to large-scale destruction of pastures and natural forests. Enrichment plantation is the practice of replacing different species of trees in an area by a single commercially valuable species. For example, teak plantations have damaged natural forests in South India, while chair pine plantations in the Himalayas have greatly reduced natural oak and rhododendron forests. Besides the causes we have discussed so far, factors like environmental pollution, 
and forest fires lead to a depletion of both our flora and fauna. The factors that lead to the depletion of our flora and fauna are actually responsible for a decrease in India's biodiversity. The environmental factors that lead to a decline in biodiversity are caused by inequitable consumption of resources and inequitable responsibility borne for the well-being of the environment. For example, on an average, an American consumes 40 times more resources than a Somalian. Similarly, the richest 5% Indians consume more resources than the poorest 25% of our population. However, the responsibility for the protection and conservation of the environment is not shared by people in proportion with the resources that they consume. 